Alright, I shared this once before, I figured it'd be worth sharing again. Um, you know, I suffer sciatic nerve pain every now and then, and it's basically from uh, tight glutes, especially the piriformis. And this is a good one for not only stretching, but strengthening. Let's show this side first. So you're going to stand on one leg. If you have difficulty with balance, of course, you can hang on to something in front of you, but otherwise, do your best to balance on one foot. And think about, there's a lot going on here. Straight up and down alignment, everything kind of squeezing into the center line. I like to have my palms together, elbows out, pressing. And then I'll think about getting my hips back and squatting. Okay, and I also like to uh, take this angle here and reach it up to the sky as I do this. And then think about reaching up through the crown of your head and back it down through your tailbone. And as you're holding this, you just continually, you know, mess around with all these like different isometric or uh, static contractions. If you find yourself like wobbly here, then go ahead and try to squeeze that standing leg's adductors to the center. You can also mess around with pressing your heel in to activate more of the hamstrings and also letting that go and doing the direct opposite, like you're, uh, as if you're trying to reach your, your knee up and that'll scoot you a little down using your hip flexors. Just keep on, as long as you're, you know, fairly comfortable and it's not too painful. Just keep doing that, pressing down statically. And then, getting a little deeper by using those hip flexes. Of course, you want to breathe deeply as you're doing this, <laughs> which I'm not right now because I'm talking to you, but uh, that's the idea. Whew. You're going to get a good stretch throughout the entire glute region. I can feel that up to my knee of that uh, other leg. All right, I'll show it this way too. Again, balance on one leg, cross it over, everything in alignment. Nice and tall. And you want to hinge your hips back and squat. Nice and slow. To maintain good balance and muscle control. Think about that crown of the head going up, tailbone going down and back, keeping a straight spinal alignment. And again, if you get wobbly, just try to contract those adductors into the center line and co-contract the uh, glute medius at the same time. And again, from here, driving the heel into the floor, activating those glutes and hamstrings for a few seconds, and then doing the direct opposite, pulling yourself into the floor with your hip flexors. Again, I like to keep this ankle laterally flexed. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. And I like to, again, I'll feel it like from all the way to my tailbone, pretty much, into this glute region, and even into my TFL, and right above the knee. And just do a few of these kind of contract relax methods or uh, really it's PNF, I guess, right? So it's like you're contracting the antagonist and then the agonist. Oh, this side's really tight. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know what this exercise is called. I think it's like a 
Haitian squad or something like that. Whatever you want to call it, it doesn't really matter. But <laughs> point is, super good, active. Stretch the piriformis, the glutes, TFL, all that stuff. And it really helps alleviate uh, sciatic nerve pain. Now again, you do have the balance. You can always just grab something in front of you. Do the same exact thing. But try to work toward doing a free balance thing because then you'll have to, uh, that'll force you to maintain alignment with using your muscle control and not just some, you know, object or whatever that'll help you push into with uh, poor posture. Anyway, give it a shot.